Hey, awesome guys, my name is Fred. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Duel Links video. Welcome back to another Duel Links League video. Today, we're going to be talking about some news that came out last week that I didn't cover on the channel. I've not been feeling Duel Links recently. I'll have a probably have a channel update video out sometime in the next week or so talking about uh, what you can kind of expect going forward. But Duel Links content is back. I'm back. Got a ton of viewers planned. Let's get into today's leak. So, big thanks to Yazan as always for this stuff. Starting off with some new character designs in the game. Moki Moki, One Magician Pikaru, Alien Grey, Gradius, Moki Moki King, and the Creator are all added as characters. This to me is just a straight up sign of the DD Tower Light Dimension coming very soon. Obviously we face up against a bunch of characters in the Dark Dimension, the Wind Dimension, the Fire and the Water Dimension I think is the only ones we've had so far. But uh, this seems like the friendliest bunch of characters. I mean Moki Moki King isn't very friendly and Gradius is a spaceship and Alien Grey is an alien but you know. It seems pretty good. So, uh, new catch deed tower, pretty cool. Then you have some items, I'm going to speed through these because I tried recording this and the video turned out to be 15 minutes before I got through hardly any of the information. So, it's the lightning round today. New items, Dark Dimension Pack, Legendary Duelist, Rainbow Pack 5Ds, obviously going to be rewards for the DD Tower. Then we have Carlsies and Game Mats for the Neos Cup and the Dark Magic Cup. That's going to be part of the Tag Duel Tournament coming at some point in December or January, probably. So, uh, you know, one set of rewards for every season for Duel Monsters, GX, and 5Ds. Pretty cool. Then we have a special pack. I don't know what that's going to be, whether that's going to be the weekly pack or something completely different they add in somewhere down the line. That could be kind of cool or as a new reward for a new type of event. That would be really interesting to see what they do with that special pack. Then from the Japanese version of the game, we have a Carson and Game Out for the second anniversary. As always, no images with any of these, but confirming that we are going to be getting some sort of celebration for the second anniversary happening in January in uh, 2019 so uh, looking forward to that now let's get on to some of these skills for uh, the tag duel tournament so these are skills that are going to be used by the AI and specifically these are probably going to be used by your AI partner for those first three so first of all we have Stardust Advent if your team has less than or equal to 2000 life points play Stardust Dragon from outside of your deck on Yusei's turn and it's a hard once per duel skill so very nice just getting Stars Dragon out on the field is always a very nice thing. You have that destruction prevention and you have a very nice 2500 point beater on the field. Pretty cool. Then we have Battle Fusion, a skill for Jaden. If your team has less than or equal to 3000 life points, so pretty easy to do. Play Battle Fusion from outside of the deck at the beginning of your partner Jaden Yuki's turn. This skill can only be used once per duel. This to me is a bit of a weird one. So if you don't know what Battle Fusion actually does, and I am struggling to find, there it is. Battle Fusion is a quick play spell card when an attack is declared involving a fusion monster you control and an opponent's monster. That monster you control gains attack equal to the attack of the opponent's monster until the end of the damage step, and it's a once per turn activation. So this was used in the uh, graduation duel between Jaden and Zane in the anime, and at first reading that thing I thought it would just like activate this card at the beginning of the turn, but it's just placed, it's probably just going to set it face down the field so it's ready for Jaden or you to use when he's battling with his elements hero fusion monsters in the battle phase. So Pretty cool card, it's definitely a very, very nice card and one we probably won't see for a while in the, in the card catalogue for us to get. I don't think we have it already. I really, I hope we don't have it already because that'd be kind of um, kind of a mess up on my part. Then we're getting probably my favourite skill of the bunch, Dark Magician the Dragon Knight Advent. If your team has less than or equal to 2,000 life points, play Dark Magician the Dragon Knight at the beginning of your partner Yami Yugi's turn and again a once per duel skill. A very cool card, one of my favourite cards, I, Dark Magician is a deck I run in the TCG, and it's a deck I play very casually, but a very powerful card for the deck. Dark Magician plus 1, Dragon type, Monster 3000 attack, 2500 defence, so Blue Eyes White Dragon stat line. This card's name becomes Dark Magician while on the field or in your graveyard, so great for, uh, you know, uh, uh, Thousand Knives, and for Dark Magic attack, those type of cards to just clear some of your opponent's field, pretty cool. Then your opponent cannot target spell trap because you control with card effects. Also, they can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So, protecting that back row infinitely, which is great. So, uh, they can still be negated if they don't mm, target or whatever. But, uh, they can't be destroyed, which means like Cosmic Cyclone, I don't think it'll work. Gag Cyclone won't work. Really cool. Uh, obviously, in the t is used to protect your back row for uh, Dark Magic Circle and Eternal Soul. So, if Yuki ends up using those in the title tournament, I will be a very happy boy. Hopefully Konami have listened and they will give us to that. Now, we have some skills that come from the translated Japanese version of the game, which means that these are going to be a little bit weird to say. 
and some of these cards we actually have to infer from uh, their names. So before that, we have a brand new skill that's outside of this thing. It's a skill called A New Universe. Start the duel with Neo Space Activates. This to me sounds like a skill we're going to be getting as a reward for participating in the GX Doors Chronicles event. Now this could not happen, and to me there's a, only one thing that kind of is against this, and that's the fact that Neo Space and Neos wasn't used in the GX Chronicle that the story's telling. It wasn't used in season one, it was season two, so maybe they're just like setting up for season two saying, hey, look at this skill you can get. Stay tuned for season two of GX Chronicles, which they might be doing, but uh, we shall have to see when that comes around. So, these tag dual tournament skills. Restriction of return to the world. So you can see, pretty cheesy translation. Can be used when your life points is a thousand or more less than your opponent's. Change all monsters in your opponent's graveyard to Skull Servant, so pretty similar to a Shizu's actual skill, and is a skill that the... All these skills from now on are going to be skills that the NPC will probably be using against you, so uh, to do keep that in mind, we won't be able to actually obtain these cards in Duel Links right away. It's a pretty cool skill nonetheless. Then we have Flying Parasitism. After distributing the initial hand, two Parasitic Parasite Parasites are infested on the two opponents' decks. So, does that mean that we're going to be getting four Parasite Parasites over the both players' decks? Because that's kind of insane, because both of them deal, I think it's a thousand damage when they're special summoned. So, if four of them are summoned over the course of the duel, that's you wiped out if you have no life point gaining cards. So, pretty tilting skill. But, to be expected for someone like Weevil, if it is a Weevil skill. Then we have Return of the Dragon Lords. This card is insane, and this skill is even more insane. Add one Return of the Dragon Lords from outside of the deck to your hand at the beginning of the turn. Notice the fact that it doesn't say this skill can be used once per duel. So if this hasn't, if this isn't changing by the time the event comes, then that means that we're going to be getting Return of the Dragon Lorded every single turn, which is kind of mad. And Return of the Dragon Lords, you know what it does? It is a spell card. Uh, target one level seven or eight Dragon type monster in your graveyard. A special summon it. So all that blue eye support, bring it back. Bring out a Spirit Dragon. Pop a card on the field. Pretty nice. Then we get. Then it's also got another effect of. If a dragon type monster will be destroyed by card effect of battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard to just not have that happen. And it works for dragon monsters. So if for some reason, hypothetical situation here, uh, your opponent played Mirror Force, then you could play this and all your monsters won't die. So, uh, very, very powerful card, very cool skill. Then we have Temptation from the Dark. It can be used every time the self tagged life points decrease by 2000. Add Dark Temptation to your hand from outside the deck instead of a normal draw. This is for Allure of Darkness, so very similar to the Ubel skill we have it currently in the game, but still a nice way that characters can be able to use Allure of Darkness and just make the duel harder by giving them some pretty beefy draw power. Then we have Deck Master Ability Commander. If you have Commander on your field, increase the attack and defense of the Warrior and Machine Type Monster on your field by 300. This is probably going to be Cyber Commander, honestly, uh, for Tristan which would make a lot of sense, a reference to the Noah's World uh, virtual arc in the anime. That's what I was trying to say. Whew. Okay, so it's been a while since I've done commentary, my voice is like killing right now. Then we have Miracle Draw. If there's an element here monster in your graveyard, your third draw becomes Pot of Greed. Well done, Jaden. Finally getting his insane skill in Duel Links, and uh, man, this would be a fun skill to play against. Or maybe not fun, because Jaden could probably end up OTKing you if he draws the right cards. Uh, like, give him a Stratos, give him a Blaze Man, just let him just go off. He'll be dead. Then we have Release. Return one Monster Special Summon to your field from the opponent's graveyard to the deck, and recover your life points by the amount of the original attack power of that monster. This skill can be used once during a turn, or twice during a duel. This seems way too convoluted, way too niche of a scenario, and might be a translation error in the... At this point, I don't know who it could be for, and I can't really judge it, so unfortunately, I'm just going to leave this one with a yikes. Then we have Gakutan as a skill. Now, you go on Google and you search Gakutan Yu-Gi-Oh! It comes up with Wiretap, so the card that Tronch used in his event, probably what this is going to be. At the start of the duel, add one Gakutan, Wiretap to the top of the deck. Wiretap is a counter trap that when a trap card is activated, negate activation, if you do, shuffle that card into the deck. A very powerful counter trap card like insane sword playing a tcg just if we ever get this card in duel links probably gonna see a lot of play um so uh being a skill first and foremost in this event 
going to be pretty tilting to come against. Because when he faced in the Trudge event, it was very tilting. Then we have special tracking deck. I guess this might mean special training deck. At the beginning of the duel, handcuff, skate blocker, chase scud, and jute knights added one by one to your deck. In addition, one go your guardians added to your extra deck. Basically, do you want to roll players trudge? Add some trudge cards. I'm not going to go through all these cards because we know what most of them are actually going to be. Like gate blocker, we think we've already got. Jute knight is probably jute fighter. Uh, chase scud is probably the plain thing. Uh, handcuffs might be like handcuffs dragon, but I don't think it would be because I think there's someone different that used that in the anime. So uh, we'll have to actually wait and see what those cards actually are. They are police dog deck. Three assault gandog are added to your deck at the start of duel. Probably just going to mean assault dog. So that's a lot of skills for trudge. That's uh, worrying. That's a lot of skills for trudge. But uh, still. That is it for the Tag Duel Tournament skills, but that is not it for the video because we have skills for the Duelist Chronicles GX Edition. Yeah, so in the game these are referred to as Sugoroku skills, and Sugoroku is actually uh, the Japanese name for Grandpa Muto, and all of the uh, Duelist Chronicles events are referred to as a Sugoroku event. So whilst we haven't got him in the game at all, that's how there's a reference to him if you've seen previous videos and you've been confused. All these skills don't have names for them, uh, so we'll have to see what uh, comes up, but uh, let's take a look at some of these skills. So again, these are all probably going to be skills that the actual NPC is used against you throughout your duels on like level 10, or level 20, level 40 difficulties of the, uh, the Duels Chronicles event that we usually get. So uh, still, some really cool skills and some new cards in here we haven't seen in the Duel Links leaks before, so uh, let's take a look. First of all, skill 1. One of the cards at the beginning of the duel becomes Ties of the Brethren, so pretty much guarantees ties in the starting hand. Really good for Gear Gears, if this was a skill in Duel Links, Gear Gears would abuse this to shit. Then we have skill 2, a Hidden Soldier is set on the field at the beginning of the duel, so Hidden Soldier is a trap card uh, that uh, when your opponent normal flips summons a monster, especially someone will follow a dark monster from your hand. It's not bad, it's not the best, but it does guarantee you're getting a monster out on your opponent's turn, and it's just a set card face down, so a Technically a plus one for the opponent, so uh, not too bad. Then we have skill three. One of the cards of beginning of the duel will become Infernal Incinerator. It's probably going to be a skill for Chaz. So yeah. Then skill four. One of the cards of beginning of the duel becomes Cyber Tutu. Alexis. Skill five. Three of the cards of beginning of the duel will become will be blended. Skater, Twelve Cyber, and Fused. Maybe that means that Alex is going to start off in her hand with Cyber Blader, uh, 12 Cyber, and Polymerization. So she can go into a Blade Skate or Cyber Blader, sorry, uh, very, very easily. So that's probably what it's going to be to mimic the anime. Then, skill 6. Two of the cards at the beginning of the duel becomes a Combination Attack and a Formation Union. Chaz, again, you will know if you've seen any fake Japanese cards or fake cards. Is you translation translate combination attack and formation union to be uh, union monsters. So uh, so that's uh going to give you the uh, part of the V to Z pieces uh in your in your starting deck. So uh on side hand sorry so pretty cool. Skill seven at the start of the third turn of the CPU, if there is room in the field, put X Y Z dragon cannon on the field. Again another chaz skill, putting a boss monster on the field late into the duel so he can go into V to Z probably. Skill A, at the start of the duel, Supercharge is set on the field. Again, Cyrus. Skill 9, one of the cards at the beginning of the duel becomes the Vehicle Connection Zone. So the Vehicle Connection Zone, another Cyrus skill. So a lot of these skills are just put cards on the field, add cards to hand. Pretty straightforward skills. Then, skill 10, one of the cards at the beginning of the duel becomes the Gate Guardian. So obviously Paradox Brothers are going to be in this. I have a video later in, as soon as the event is actually confirmed, I'll have a video coming out talking about this duel particularly and what cards we could see because it's actually a lot more interesting than you might think. Then we have skill 11. At the start of the third turn of CPU, there is room on the field. Put Gate Guardian on the field. So this one puts it on the field, the previous one puts it in the hand. So just getting easier access for the Paradox Brothers to get Gate Guardian. Uh, pretty cool. Then, skill 12. One of the cards between the duel becomes Bonding H2O. Now we're in Bastion territory. Skill 13. When there is room on the CPU field to start of turn 3, put Water Dragon on the field. So that was his boss monster that really isn't that good. Woo! Skill 14. At the start of the third turn of CPU, if there is space on the field, put Arm Dragon level 3 on the field. Another Chaz duel. Yippee. 
Now here's the interesting bit. Skill 15. Activate Fallen Paradise at the beginning of the duel. Now, the character for this could be Kagamaru, and the reason for this is because Fallen Paradise is actually a Sacred Beast support card. So it's a relatively new card, it's a field spell, your opponent cannot target Uriah Lord Searing Flames, Hamon Lord Strike Thunder, Rebel Lord of Phantasms, or Armatar the Chaos Phantom Eater Monster Zones with card effects. Also, those mods cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects while you control them. Pretty crazy that you can only beat over them. If you control your Rylo Sing Flames, Hamon, Raviel, or your Amatal, you can draw two cards. You can only just affect once per turn. It's a pretty busted card because you only need to control one of them, not all three or the fusion, which is kind of mad. So, uh, Kagemaru, if they do bring him into the game, of course we have seen them bring in NPCs that haven't had dialogue strings, they're very hunters. If they do bring him to the game, then that'd be kind of cool. Next skill is actually a bit weird. I didn't expect them to do this, but it makes sense. One of the cards between the duels becomes that grass looks greener. Now, to me, this is in a weird spot. Um, like just going down by the ordering, you'd expect Uriah to be here. But maybe this is for Uriah, because obviously Grass is Grinning puts things into the graveyard. Uriah likes having traps in the grave, I think. I think that's what it kind of likes doing. I know it has to have them on the field to tribute to summon him, but I think it likes having traps in the grave. So the more traps in your grave, the higher attack Uriah becomes. So uh, this is obviously a really good thing for that. Then skill 17. One of the cards beginning the duel becomes Hamon, Lord of Striking Thunder. So the GX equivalent of Ra. Let's take a look at Hamon. Fucking gorgeous artwork. Cannot be normal summoned or set must be several special summoned from your hand by sending three face up continuous spell cards you control to the graveyard. I cannot be special summoned by other ways. So it's a beefy 4000 4000. It's very hard to summon because three continuous is pretty hard to get out. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by balancing its graveyard, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent while this card is facing in defense position, monsters your opponent controls cannot target monsters for attacks except this one. So you just set it as a nice brick wall. And it just, it sits there. And we fall in paradise, it can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects, so it's kind of immune, kind of. Very cool card. Like, I don't think we're going to get these in Duel Links anytime soon as a playable card for ourselves, but when they do come, that's going to be incredibly fun. Next skill is very, very similar to this. At the beginning of your third turn of CPU, there is space in the CPU field. Put Raviel Lord of Phantasms on the field. So Raviel is the obelisk of the deck. We saw him, I put him in the thumbnail for the last leak video. 4000, 4000 again, has that same, cannot be normal summoned, must be special summoned by tributing three fiend type monsters that cannot be special summoned by other ways. So it is just a pretty standard three tribute monster, but it is three fiends, which obviously you can do tokens, which is really, really nice. If your opponent normal summons a monster, special summon one phantoms and token. For each monster summoned, but it cannot declare an attack. Once per turn you can tribute, one monster you can discard gains attack equal to the original attack of the tributed monster to the end of this turn. It's like an obelisk light, kind of. But, uh, generates monsters. Which, uh, is always a good thing. So, uh, I'll have a video coming out at some point in the future talking about these three cards in more detail. Because, uh, we're kind of short on time in this league video. And for the last couple of skills, one of the cards, skill 19. One of the cards we're going to duel becomes Ojama Dala. Of course, we saw this in Duel Links previously. We've actually got it as a card that we can obtain. It's an like anime or game exclusive card. So, really cool. That's going to be a skill. And the last skill, skill 20. At the start of the third turn of CPU, if there is space on the CPU's field, put Slifer the Sky Dragon on the field. So, obviously, previous video we talked about reference to dueling the King of Games. This clearly indicates that we're going to be facing Yami Yugi as the King of Games himself, completely shattering the GX timeline and uh, putting the duel that took place at the end of GX at the end of the Sacred Beast arc. So, uh, you give everything, your timeline theory is incorrect. Everything we've known is wrong. Anyway, that is going to be me done for today's Duel Links video. If you guys didn't enjoy, let me your thoughts description down below. I apologize for being away for so long, but I'm back now. Hopefully, content's going to be coming out at a very, more regular pace than normal. Hopefully, this video wasn't too long. If it was, I apologize. But uh, let me know your thoughts description down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links video.
See you then.